My name is Teresa and this is a video about what's happening in our industry right now. As you know, the price of a barrel of oil is based on supply and demand, with demand being like a rally car, zipping up and down relatively quickly. And supply is a bit more like a freight train. It ramps up and down relatively slowly, especially compared to demand. And what's happened with COVID is our demand has gone off a cliff. Basically, due to the lockdowns, very little movement is happening and the price of a barrel of oil has plummeted as a result. And from a supply side perspective, the supply side is starting to slow down. So what does this mean for our future? Well, as supply tends to slow down, people have a tendency to get off. In other words, there's layoffs, there's reduction in terms of uh, businesses that are still able to stay open and all the supply chain impacts that go with it. But coming towards us is a future where demand will recover, maybe not completely to old level scene, but things like airlines and transport will start to rebuild, at which point supply will be challenged to start to ramp up again. But I think this time we might see something a bit different than we've seen in the cycles of the past. The people who are leaving the industry or who are being forced out of the industry are going into a whole new world. They're looking at new technologies, at digitalization and at retraining. And these are clever, capable people who will apply themselves to the new challenges in front of us. At the same time, the demand part of the equation will go up and we will need liquid transport fuels. And for those, we're seeing that the remaining industry is going to be resilient, rebuilt to be profitable and competitive at a lower price point for longer. So then when these two curves come back together, it's likely that we will see demand outstrip supply in terms of demand coming back quick and strong and supply not quite being able to follow that same course. But what's different this time is that that supply wedge or that undersupply wedge will not just be filled with oil and gas. It'll be filled with emerging technologies, with electrification and with more efficient barrels with lower footprint overall. So in conclusion, we've got a pretty interesting situation ahead of us. We've got demand that will rebound in some level, but also will be challenged to be different than it was in the past. And we will see supply that comes back resilient and capable against lower oil price, but that also is reshaped into new industry that's able to fulfill that energy need in different and new ways. And behind it all will be the people who are incredibly capable, reskilling, creating this new space and building the future that is to come. So there is a future and we will create it. Thank you.